welcome back to today's video. Um, I don't know where to start off. Um, Jonathan is sleeping. We just got back from a pretty long appointment with his GI doctor. And I don't know. I'm just really confused about a lot of it. Um, I'm filming this right now because a lot of the emotions and all this stuff is kind of fresh right now. And so I just wanted to get this down. Um, I didn't want to film in there because it was just too much for me. Um, I did cry a little bit, but it, it's okay. Um, we do have news that he has colitis, but now the doctor is concerned because she's like, I don't know 100% if it is the ulcerative colitis or if it is the Crohn's disease. So we now have to wait for a CAT scan and that will be... I don't know, two weeks or something. I don't know when that will be. So he's going to get um, allergy tested, so with an allergist. And, sorry, my eye is bothering me. But anyways, um, and then he had 15 vials of blood that was taken today. We have to go back in two weeks. He's going to start prednisone today. And hopefully that will help like with inflammation and keeping his attacks down, his stomach attacks down. Um, but he is also on a waiting list basically to hear back from a group in San Diego of, um, they're doing testing on young kids to see why they get um, either Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis because she said that he's the youngest that she's ever dealt with with this kind of situation and so we have done the blood tests and stuff for that so they're going to send that to San Diego and then we'll hear back um, and so there's a lot more steps that we're going to have to do before we know 100% what is going on my hand is getting tired of my arm but so we're just waiting on that now more blood tests so when we go back in two weeks um, then she'll do another round of blood tests um, just to see like where his inflammation is at see where he's at after being on the prednisone for two weeks and to do a step down um, because he can't be on it for too long. She is going to do two weeks at a certain milliliter a day and then after the two weeks then it's going to go um, to a smaller dosage. So hopefully that will help with his stomach and his attacks. Um, he has to completely stay away from milk so we're going to just switch him over to almond milk and stuff like that she didn't really say anything about cheese or um, other dairy products so we'll have to see about that but um it just we got answers but then now we have to hurry up and wait again basically for more answers so that's really the update that there is on that my feelings, I don't know, because she's saying it, it is an autoimmune thing, so they are testing for that. They, she didn't even really go down the list of what they're going to be testing for. I, I might have a list here. I don't know what they would all mean or, or I don't know. Let me pull that out. 
So for my thoughts and feelings on this, mixed, mixed emotions, mixed everything. I don't know how to feel, or what to think, what to do, except for just follow as best as I can with the instructions from the doctor. Um, in hopes that it's not something that can't be managed or something that is going to hurt him in, in any kind of way. Um, so, yeah. This is as good as this video is going to get, really. Um, there's been so many changes that are going on. I can't even register right now. And it's just really hard. So, um, one of the things is that with this trial, this clinical trial that he might get into, like, if he does, if he qualifies for it, like, our insurance won't pay for it. And so then that's something we have to think about and discuss. So, um, that's going to be something that my family is going to be talking about. We're going to talk about with his family and just see, like, get a lot more information. She's, um, I'm going to email the doctor and ask her for, um, some more information about, about it, um, what the name of it is again, so that I know my brain was not really computing very much. So, um that I can do more research and look it up and get as much knowledge that I can on on this so see what the benefactors of it would be and stuff like that so I'm just gonna end this video for today and really try and get my thoughts together pull myself together and um So I'm up in this here and just get my thoughts together and just process throughout the rest of this day and week and just figure out what our next step is with him of trying to help him get better and try not to get overwhelmed or overthink it and just trust in the Lord that he's going to help and get us past this and just turn it all over to him. Um, I firmly believe that he has a hand in this and that he's going to be guiding and directing us and getting us past this or getting us through it or whatever it may be. So um, I hope you guys like the video and come along with us in the journey to helping us figure out what is going on with this sweet boy back here and getting him better and getting him to be the best person that he can be so we'll talk to you guys later bye